The face reveals many aspects of a person. We can see their health, their personality, their past, present, and future. There's many maps of the face that we use to determine these different aspects of a person. And one of those is the facial age map. The facial age map shows when someone's had different traumatic experiences in their life. Hi, my name is CT Holm. I'm a practitioner of East Asian medicine, and I've studied for several years under the teachings of Lillian Pearl Bridges, understanding and working with her family's lineage facial diagnostic system. On May 26, I'll be teaching a course hosted by China Book Sydney on using the facial age map to determine when someone's had different traumas in their life. The age map is very helpful. We can look at the outer cartilage of someone's ear, and that is going to tell us from the ages from 0 to 12. That's right, age 0, we can see what happened in the womb during pregnancy. And then across the hairline is the teen years, the forehead is the 20s, and on down the face. And we can look at different horizontal markings on the face to understand when someone's had a traumatic experience, more specifically when their jing, their essence, has been compromised. And so we can work with someone to then identify what these traumas were and understand the theme of the trauma. So for example, someone who's 50 years old comes in your clinic and we use the facial age map to look at their ears, their face, and we determine they've had traumas at age three, nine, 15, 26, 40, and 60. They might say, wait a second, time out, age 60? They're only 50 years old. How can they have already had a trauma at age 60? Well, we can see when traumas are coming up in the future for them. So when we talk to them about these different trauma ages and what happened to them on those different times of their life, and usually more, more often than not, there's a theme of these traumas. So for example, this patient that you're working with, you find out that they have these traumas, they all have a theme of abandonment. Then we work with them with acupuncture to help them to process those traumas and to work through that theme, that, that lesson that they're here to learn. And then what we'll see happening is that marking, which is on the chin hair for age 60, we start to see that line fade away, which means that when they turn 60, they won't experience the trauma to the same severity and they might not experience it at all. Now, this might sound a little fanciful, but I've seen this happen time and time again in the clinic. So in the class, I'll be having many patient pictures to show their transformation and how these lines actually change and fade away. So I hope you can join us on May 26th with China Book Sydney on this course on how to work with the facial age map to determine when someone's had different traumas in their life.